Austria has voted narrowly against electing a right-wing nationalist as president after an election campaign that highlighted the political fallout from Europe's immigration crisis. Norbert Hofer, the Freedom Party candidate, was defeated by Alexander van der Bellen, the Green politician who ran as an independent. Mr Hofer's strong showing could serve as an early warning of the rising influence of right-wing nationalist and populist movements across European countries, including in France and Germany. Mainstream parties in other European countries have in the past shunned Austria's Freedom Party, which was founded in the 1950s by former Nazis. In the election, the Freedom Party played on fears that Austria had lost control of thousands of refugees passing through the country as they fled wars in countries such as Syria. Mr. Hoffer's near victory will boost the hopes of Heinz Christian Straka, the Freedom Party's leader, of becoming Chancellor after national elections due by September 2018. Austria's new president is a 72-year-old economics professor whose parents were refugees from the Soviet Union. It was touch and go whether Mr. van der Bellen could rally an anti-Freedom Party majority sufficient to defeat Mr. Hofer. In the end, his wafer-thin victory followed a campaign portraying him as a conciliatory alternative to the authoritarian Freedom Party, who would present a more acceptable face to the outside world. Mr. Van der Bellen hinted he would try to block a Freedom Party candidate becoming Chancellor, but constitutional experts doubted that was possible. As president, he could cause political trouble if he sought to create a rival power center to Austria's government and parliament. Austria's two main parties, the Social Democrats and People's Party, which have dominated the country's politics since 1945, have seen their support falling sharply. But in his first comments as president-designate, Mr. Van der Bellen said he would act above politics and seek a constructive relationship with the government. Ralph Atkins, Financial Times, in Vienna.